<laughs> but dog no, walked in looking like Mayfield in this thing. Y'all bro. see the white though? Yo, yo, yeah. New year, new him. Ooh, come on, studio. New year, new yo. him. Ooh. Got the glasses on, got the frame. Look at what that feel to do though. Oh you my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no, he tried he tried to get into it too too <laughs> fast. No, bro. He introduced Let's get into this fit, nothing, bro. Dope boy or white boy, if you don't look like you from the west side today. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, brother? Where you from? Yeah. How you call? I'm okay. A, I'm a baby soul, little baby soul. The gang oh. side, bro. In my soul. That's you. That's just you right there. Yeah. So yeah. can we talk about the ensemble, bro? Like, what what got you feeling like? You know, what's up? I mean, I ain't think I was doing too too much. Oh, bro. see that look. Oh, this is some light. See, <laughs> see. I mean, yeah, so yo, this some light. This ain't, ain't even. even. Ain't this ain't even, even a drip for real. I ain't even really know I was doing. He not something. even trying. I was chilling. Yeah, bro. I, Light day. Yeah, it was light yeah. day. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I mean, man. Nigga must be bummy right here, bro. I be bummy. No, bro. No. Uh, you just walked in looking talk, godly, let's talk, bro. It's just not every day you bummy. see the see the all the all white pants, you know? Yeah. With the little yeah, yeah bro, like yeah. then you got the cognac and navy blue La Flair going yeah. on. Oh, it's the oh yeah, that's cognac. <laughs> yeah, that, that ain't even that's yeah, cognac. Yeah, that's cognac. Yeah. <laughs> she, hey, she, she, she put it up. She spiced it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I, I be paying attention to the drip. Yeah, she spiced then it he up. got the joints with the gold frames to compliment the cognac. Yeah, Come which on, also man. goes with the watch. I see how it he just brought offsets all the, he everything. Brought all around, he want to do a pop of color without doing too much. Want to let you know the drip was right, still there. Right. Without right. drowning, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Hey, how you move around with all that white on, though? Real talk. Because that's the difficult task. Well, you know, I'm sweet feet with it anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Not the sweet feet. You know what I mean, bro? Like, <laughs> sweet oh, feet. My Lord. Yeah, I'm sweet feet with it anyway, bro. You Hilarious. Know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Sweet feet. Yeah, bro. I walk mm. on cotton there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all Keep them coming, bear, bro. Man. I mean, it's, you it's might as well. All snuggle bear. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all that deal, bro. Mm-hmm. I do want to point out that that Bel Air is for the room. So, okay, you brought it. I mean, you know, it, it got here. You okay, feel okay, me? okay. Like, you know, okay, so, okay. You know, okay. we also um. Well, see, a new year pop it. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, you the popper. You know, you know, you you good with the champagne. You know what, bro? I was at the little event, bro. I popped like six bottles, bro. I'm like, why y'all keep passing me this shit? No, they you, must seen the effortless shit going. Yeah, on the first you, you time. effortless like, with, with the pop, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I got it, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you know, when you wear shit like that, you just look like you pop shit all the time. I was just, that was- my nigga just walking around. He, hey, he look like his feet standing <laughs> on somebody's couch at every function. At every function. At every Velvet function. room, gold room, compound. Standing on the couch. Niggas ain't standing on the couch. We still standing on couches. And he on the know. arm, too. He ain't even on the, on the regular. He, on he the disrespectful arm with it. With it. Like, nah, they see him be like, oh, he cool. He they going to see me, on. nigga. <laughs> I, he I got that milk Welcome on. to the show. <laughs> he got that milk on. He good. He yeah. good. Oh, no, 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 God. <laughs> he good, God. That's he got yeah. that milk on, good, bro. God. He got that I feel milk like on. I'm being hazed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. No, bro, bro when, you got, when you got it low, you got it low, bro. Welcome so to the show. Do. How y'all doing, bro? Oh, good, Love man. You. Bless, bless and holly favor, like mm-hmm. the old, old folks say, man. Oh, okay. Welcome to the No Buffer podcast. He trying to throw it to me. I'm last name good until my right. I got the lovely. Mm. <clears throat> Cheyenne XO. And to my right, I don't even—I wasn't even prepared for this drip today. But you know why we here? Man, looking like a delectable Snickers bar out here. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Miss Joy! Oh, oh Miss Joy! Oh, Miss Joy with it, man! Oh, Come on, somebody! Bar. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna just—I I have no words. I am officially speechless. Mm. Mm. That's the first. <laughs> Lego Steve O did to my right. Got my player partner. You got producer Black, man. Happy New Year. What's up with y'all? Yeah, we Happy, good. New Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We good. Hey, God bless for making us the uh 2021, man. Factual, factual. We Hey, did y'all feel like a sense of relief when the ball dropped? Yeah. I did because I knew I was going to sleep right after. Even though it don't really <laughs> make yeah, sense. Say it don't like, mean, uh, but it was just like <laughs> I did. I felt like okay. Cool. Another year, like it just felt like the end of what 2020 has been. But yeah, bro, it don't. It, it means absolutely nothing, bro. Mm-hmm. Y'all was outside? No, I was, I was watching inside. that at the crib, bro. Oh, okay, that? okay. Anybody else? You went outside? 
I was posted. Where you was at? I was inside. At the crib? Mm-hmm. That did a lot of reflecting that day, man. That's yeah, what's up. Same. That's a mm-hmm. good thing to do. Did a lot of reflecting. Y'all made some uh, black eyed peas and shit. Bro, nah, I, I, I didn't do the man. tradition. Can I tell you my story? Uh, I, uh, we all ears. So, well, this was New Year's Day, right? The day, yeah, New Year's Day. So, I know about the black eyed peas, collard greens, all that, but really, I don't really be caring about none of that, to be honest with you. Like, it ain't no big deal to me. But, um, wife was like, man, I just want some black eyed peas. And it was like, well, what you want to do? <laughs> so, of course, we went with. This is it, cause you know it, it ain't too far from the crib, whatever. So, bro, we doing the takeout. This is it. So, mind y'all put the order in. Takeout pickup say six six oh six is what time it say your food will be ready. I pull up at six o'clock. I get out. All kind of dysfunction. Number one, apparently everybody and their mama trying to get black eyed peas. Black eyed peas, soul mm-hmm. food. And this is it. New Year. I didn't know New Year's Day was like they. They big money maker. I had whatever. no idea even. Didn't know it at all. Now. So I get there. They got a takeout section. They got a regular section for people to come in. So I go to the takeout. I get there. Ain't nobody at the register. So we just like waiting, me and a couple other people. There's one lady walk in. And you ever ran into somebody who like, they feel like they don't have no type of patience. Like they walk in and think that they're supposed to get everything now. Yeah. She walk in. Oh, what's going on? Like, no, like. And she come in on the phone, so she talking to her mom. She's like, no, mom, they got everything screwed up over here. And she just walked straight, beeline straight to the register. Me and two other people looking at her like, you straight? Like, like, <laughs> like no, we in line. Oh, no, I'm finna get, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything. It's like, she got hit with the same thing that we got hit. Like, mm-hmm. they just, they don't have enough people at staff. You gotta whatever. wait. So this is the point in time where I realized that, you know what? It still pays to be a celebrity in Atlanta. So in walks Rocco. Rocco walks in the this is it. Rocco goes up to the register. He he point out some lady. She walk up over here. He whispers something to her. Rocco was in there for probably about three minutes. He getting his plate. Right? Now he getting his plate prepared. He don't have his plate yet. He getting his plate prepared. And I'm like, I ain't even mad at him because like I'm sleep like I, I would use it too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Use it. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to hit him up like, bro, just grab my plate too. Right. Then, <laughs> I'll, I'll it slide it to you. Yeah. Slide. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. But that that was that was by New Year's Day in a nutshell. I, I was in uh, this how, is it. How long was the wait? Uh, I end up walking out with my food at 6.45. That was supposed <laughs> to be. It was supposed to be ready at 6.06. And I called. and did, Well, actually, I ordered online for takeout, meaning that when I get walk, there, walk I was supposed to get walk up. in to get my food mm-hmm. and walk out. Mm-hmm. So there you have it. Mm. He's in the three minutes. I mean, he came in. That might be an exaggeration. Maybe five, because he came in <laughs> maybe like 6.35, uh-huh. whatever. And we walked out basically at the same time. So. That just lets you know I had been there since six o'clock. He just walked right in. I was like, Meaning still, you or you did the right thing and still pre-ordered. Facts. And still had a forty-five minute wait. They started cooking my food when I got there. That's what happened. Of course. Yeah. So. But what did you get more importantly? Uh, I got uh shrimp and greens, macaroni and cheese, black eyed peas. You know, you did the, you did, you did the regular. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing to like five minutes. The black eyed peas, cornbread, collard greens. I can't wait to start getting free shit. Man, listen. Man, look at each other, man. I'm looking forward to <laughs> Hey, I'm looking forward to They hit you in the DM and be like, what's your address, bro? I'll drop out this pack. Kindly send Say it to me. I can't wait to start getting free shit. I mean, you keep dressing like that, bro. Yeah, They're going to go ahead and like, you got to be, you got to be somebody. Like, well, bro, like. Somebody sending you some in that cash. Hey, up. what size shoe you wear, bro? <laughs> At My that size. point. No, hey, no, no, I'm serious. Oh, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see you. <laughs> That's why anybody give you free. Yeah. Yeah. bro. <laughs> the fact that that's your automatic suspicious. answer right, you right, right, that right, too many right. times. Fam be like, no, bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to send you some exclusive Air Forces, bro. Like, what you? Nike in his inbox. What size shoe you wear? My size. My size. Nigga need to get God a P.O. Bless. box. They hit you with the God oh, bless. Yeah, I got the P.O. <laughs> box. For ambassador purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the P.O. box, so they ain't got to send no package to the crib unless they send them via UPS, because UPS don't drop off at uh, P.O. box. Fun fact. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm. They won't do it. That's why. Won't do it. Hmm? How was y'all weekend? My shit was straight. Just chilling. My week been kind of long. 
Okay. I got 14 days work from home. Cool. That's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, you told him about about. Oh yeah, I've been milking that shit. Yeah, that's how you do it. You might as well. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that job. <laughs> it's on a t-shirt and a pillow and a hoodie. Product placement. So, what, sign. I need to get me new one. I don't think I can. There fit you that go. One eh. <laughs> hey man, <that. laughs> this episode is all about product placement. I mean, Today is the day. Why not? We new got year, new products. We got um. We're gonna list all the stuff that people in here that we actually know. So we got so herbal tea and um. Collab with um, Typical Div in the building. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, beer. Well, I actually got some in my beer right now. Production. I, <laughs> I actually got some in my beer right now. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh, beer. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, we stay connected. You feel mm. me? So, mm. you know, I see you know patches try to, at all. You know, try to make sure that. Come on, I see what you did, bro. <laughs> on, bro. Like I, I do this stuff for real, bro. for real. But you, you know, bro. The, the, the beard is shining. It smells. Mm -hmm. It smells wonderful. Like it does. Talk, it smells like really good for real, for real. It does. So shout, out, shout out to the homie beer. Well, man, I mean, being um, easy. Some of this shit, man, I be smelling like lard. <laughs> I had That's some. Tough. I did have some beer oil that um wifey had bought for me. Like she bought like three or four different ones. It was just one that you could tell it ain't really meant for a black man. Yeah, because mm. it had like a felt like I was in the woods. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It just didn't feel. It didn't give me that right <clears throat> feeling. But yeah. you know what I'm saying. We stand connected over here with beer well, man. Mm. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and y'all cop some of that. I like that. Why yeah, you yeah. Did that? yeah. And we got we got some Bel Air over here too. Ro Rose. Didn't cut the check. He ain't send no bottles, but we still rock with I, him. I talked to Rizel. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Holla at him. You know, go down there to the crib real quick. Yeah, you know. know niggas on a first name basis. Yeah, yeah. I holla at Rizel. It's yeah, the yeah, drip yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the laugh. Did you hear the laugh? <laughs> I heard it. It was subtle too. It was better than last week. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you going to pop that, bro? If you hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that moment has so many replays in my head right now. <laughs> okay. Hey, you got. I mean, you just gotta be be honest with him. Like he, he said it with some authority. It just made you have to move real quick. You know? I know that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, I do want to tell y'all this though. I hit the golf course today. I seen. I seen. How was it? How you? How you feel? Felt pretty good. I got a long way to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Honest. Got a long way to go. Yeah. Oh. First time? Um, not the first time. I, I played about eight or nine holes um oh. bachelor party. Okay. I ain't I never did. got my own uh, shit in the box though. We can talk about that in a minute. Oh, well you know. Yeah. No, I never did give you a cup. But um <laughs> she be aces, bro. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but uh it, it went it went pretty straight, man. Like hey, shout out to Theo Taiwan, man. He um I have been seeing him on the ground when I was like, bro, like I wanna pull up. Mm -hmm. Pulled up, got my gear in I said you pulled up on the west side with it. Oh yeah, you know, I I be there. I be on the west side every now and then. You know he know where his shit at all the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. But we had a good John time. A. White. I see. Yeah. We had a good time though. I shot a Shout out a, uh, a 63. Hold on. <laughs> out of a total of, uh, it was a par 35, so I was 28 over. What was that? Hold on. Yeah, that's what I was asking, because I know, like, oh. basically the, the lower. No, 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 no. See, we, it's nine ho we only played nine holes. Now, if I would have shot a 63 on, on 18, uh, you oh, shit, you get me ready for the tour, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I had fun, man. Um, what was your highest? Bogey, but no. <laughs> bogey is what two shots or three? No, it was just one shot over. So oh, it's like par, so par. It was yeah. a, it was a par. I think it was a par four, and I made made it in five. So it was bogey. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, bro. Like golf is another like, that's another beast, bro. <laughs> I was waiting on you to lie to me and say it was a birdie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You I know, mean, you, you, you know, I got the, an eagle, motherfucker. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was happy with my bogey with my plus one. It, yeah. it ain't no, like, golf is one of them sports. It's so far, it's just, I mean, going off the sports that I played, it's the only sport where you can't blame nobody but yourself. Mm. Shit, my high probably be problem. like triple bogey. <laughs> there you go. I was like, hopefully you, you get it right this, this time. You don't want to, we don't talk to you. Good job, good job. Well, you know. Happy 2021. Yeah, yeah. Happy 21. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and, and to the listeners, happy yeah, new year. Yeah, happy if you new listen, year to you, y'all. Made it, you made it through all the 2020 bullshit, okay. even though all the bullshit happens every year. Yeah. Specifically this year. This, this year, year was, was a different beast, man. It was a different beast this year. Can't even deny it. I try to, uh, it, it got a little chill to it, too. I didn't, no, uh, it's nice. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, I black. I know black one or something. Over there. But um, okay, still, still got a little, right. little something to it. Black. Jabbar. Yeah, he called my man <laughs> government out. <laughs> but this thing here. Disrespectful. Bro. <laughs> God. He got on all way. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. No. no. Did you just raise up your glasses? He did. He did. With the sniff. Oh, yeah, get him back. You, you different, bro. I heard that. <laughs> I heard it. No, you might just put it on the table, bro. Is he? Uh... <laughs> Is he? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Go ahead and pat. Cut. But, yeah, man. Cheyenne, what, um, you say you ain't. No, Steve, he don't want to tell me what he did this weekend. Oh. Uh, Man, I was doing something pretty much every day except for uh, New Year's Eve. True. Mm-hmm. A little drain, but it's all good. A lot going on. Mm-hmm. A lot of motion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel Mo- that. Moving and grooving through the city. I feel it. Long you, long you stand productive, bro. That's really what it's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand productive. So, um, <clears throat> culturally ratchet question. Well, oh, here we go. Ooh, yes. Uh, uh, chill, chill, oh, let's chill, 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 Here's to more life. Here's to advancing the tools that you already got. Here's to prosperity. Here's to making your dreams a reality. Mm. Now I'm ending with this right here. If you got a dream, mm. pray on that dream, research that dream, and work until that dream becomes reality. Yep. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. New Year. I felt that in my spirit. I had to bring that back. That's for anybody that ever um, been on straight out the damn podcast. I used to close the podcast with, with that last little quote. You know what I'm saying? Try Full to, circle. You no, know, just bring it back around, man. Bring it back Feel around. It. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Respect. Yeah. Coach with the ratchet question. What year are we in? 2021. No, with the podcast. We're going in three. We're going in three. We're going in three. Damn. It's been yeah, three, three what, next end, month, ain't it? In March. March, March, yeah. March, yeah. February, Damn. March, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what episode good say? You know what I'm talking Here about. Here we go. That's the coaching ratchet question. <laughs> what episode that I'm supposed to burn it down on, on, on the show? 150. I thought it was 100, but we passed it, whatever it is. We'll, we'll be close to that. 150. I don't know. Solid. I, I, I still, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out how this. Somebody find the episode. See that? See, see, when you already know, then you're going to try to give us homework, bro. We are we almost 150 episodes in, mm-hmm. bro. Don't give mm-hmm. us no homework like that. He was all here. You know what I'm saying? We're doing two hours of pop. <laughs> no, that's the Yeah, hour. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, the, that's, yeah, the, that's the cop out, bro. Yeah, like you finna do me like that, bro. I know how you said it, bro. I know you said it. Mm-hmm. I mean, culturally ratchet question. What ahead. are you gonna bring like down you. on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Enough um, about what, I probably ain't episode. like you work for nobody, nigga. Burn up. No, I, I work for I work for some people. Smoke, bro. I still <laughs> got I got jobs, bro. Still <laughs> blazing, <laughs> still blazing. Hey, hey. Listen, that's hey, one of like, the day keep the evils away. Listen, hey. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Look, I don't know to answer your question. I you don't, don't work sorry. for nobody, bro. I don't know. But I will say this. Man, like, like, yeah, I hate piss testing this shit, bro. <laughs> Don't fire up, bro. You can get away with an Earl fucking, Earl fucking with full, me. Full transparency. I don't like the the intake. 
like the the inhale part. Like I really ain't no. You big shouldn't fan have said it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what we can. There's do. other options. Edibles. I tell you what. I tell you what we can do. Some CBD gummies or something. I got those on. Oh yeah, yeah. come on, Dave with the rose and hemp. Uh, Shout connect. out to rose and hemp. Speaking of which, I need to give me some CBD oil. But yeah, I rolled with CBD. I rolled some some CBD um cream on my neck and back today. Hey, that's CBD. Yeah, yeah boy, it put you to sleep, bro. Sleep. sleep. Listen, put you to it sleep. It don't do shit. Like, but I had the best sleep. No, it, it do it. Well, I mean, I guess because I smoke, I smoke though. So mm. it's just like, yes, yeah, no, it do I'm looking for that effect. No, that oh, that no. that CBD is a beast, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, don't do shit my ass. I had about thirty two <laughs> ounces of CBD Kool Aid. That shit had me slump. <laughs> yeah. CBD, Damn, like CBD Kool Aid. You heard me? Yeah, yeah. Shit. I'm down, I'm down <laughs> with the CBD. I went straight in the fridge. Somebody's fridge. He said, "How much you had?" <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that's what they asked you? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, they knew it was. Yeah, like, cause they always hit me. Me casa su casa shit. Yeah. So I went straight in and got some <laughs> Killing Kool-Aid. that shit. The one time I don't ask a nigga, is it cool? I get some CBD shit and I'm over there slump, sleeping like, like in the motherfucker. Like you on bro. fucking lean. Yeah, I hit the recliner on their ass <laughs> in the midst of a party. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> they were like, you good, bro? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you yeah. can't even fight that kind of sleep. That yeah. shit gonna no. put you out. I had to get a little 10 minute in. Mm-mm. It'll lay you down, bro. Like, yeah. I mean, like I said, the cream that I got, it's um, I'm bad with milligrams, like that that conversion. But the 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 bottle say two million. So what's that? That's like it say yeah. two million milligrams, but I feel like that ain't right. Like that don't. How many, how many zeros? Six zeros. That's two million, right? Yeah, six zeros. It's a cream. Yeah, it's a cream. Does it say per? I don't know. I can tell you though. I got it off of Amazon. Two million. You probably doing like you probably got severe pain. We talk about fifteen, six hundred milligrams a dose. God damn. That's why I fall asleep every time I put it on. Yeah, you be out. (laughs) Every time I put it on. So wait. So how does the CB? I feel like you're too far for the answer, but I want. What do you mean? Because I don't know how the how does the CBD actually get into your system from a cream. Does that make sense? I'm assuming the pores. I would yeah, think. it's your pores. It's topical. It, it, it's no different than like an icy hat or like one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I got you. Got yeah, you. got it. As far as I know, that's. I mean, that's all I can go off of. True, true. I ain't no expert in that. You like watch that. all them side shows. All them health I ain't shows. never. Well, <laughs> I ain't watching <laughs> enough on CBD. Apparently, <laughs> all them health shows. You know no, that. I'm. I'm definitely an advocate for um, CBD, man. For real, like. You I've just know it worked, and there we go, Everything. and we're here. Everything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. From the rooter to the tutor. Don't Steve. Don't worry about it. Everything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you got it. <laughs> I'm blessed either way it goes. <laughs> but now I need to. I need to. Big once he hit that. <laughs> that turn. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Now I do need to get, grab me some um, red CBD oil. I know it helps with your <laughs> sinuses and shit. So. Hey, I lied, bro. It it's twelve million milligrams. Damn. It's say like, don't just say twelve million. Am I tripping? That's one, per two. Per what? Oh, he did yeah. say per what? Is it just? I guess per per, per Well, bottle? it's two ounces. Two ounces in the God, container damn. itself, but it does say. It say ten times the power. Hey, my man. My man. <laughs> My man do a full body run. He's gonna be put a little dab on the nose. <laughs> He's gonna put a little dab on the nose. <laughs> hey, it worked for him. It worked. It worked for me. I can't. You didn't hear how he said he was slump. He's supposed to be using this shit like pimple cream. <laughs> he only do a full body run. My nigga got a masseuse. It's a. It's a. He's having an old lady cover toast. <laughs> Legs up, bro. <laughs> this man is crazy. Bro. Wait, let me see. This man is it's crazy. Eight, ten times the power. <laughs> uh, I'm not unless this is a no. That's got to be that's twelve million milligrams, bro. bro like that's wild. You supposed to put two dabs behind the ear. Yeah, it says, like sunscreen. Yeah, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna read what it says. It says this two ounce jar contains a powerful punch of 12 million um, hemp extract, 
Every ounce was third party tested to bring you to the best quality possible. Ideal uh, cream for quick and powerful pain relief for hip and joints and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it's 12 million. As, can you see me that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I this shit on like vapor rules. Listen, you Vix all on like your I chest. Say, hey, Nigga it, be out. It were it were miracles for me. I I, I can endorse this particular one. I don't you know about all mule. the other ones. You said what? You, you done got, got a mule. mule. <laughs> yeah, I know that first night we hit the funny <laughs> <Right>. world. <laughs> no. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you. I know that first night. Oh I'm gonna tell you. Hey, you were looking been. for the white light that first night. <laughs> God. The one you? thing that hit me the hardest. <laughs> we were up here. And a chef was cooking like um, some some infused, and it was some macaroni and cheese. And I'm just a sucker. Is this macaroni the same chef that was up I think here? this one y'all did the Tuesday. Wasn't it, it was early, yeah. It, it was, was early. early. So I didn't, you know, I'm just like on some. I didn't want some macaroni and cheese. I ain't thinking that of it. High as hell. Fam, <laughs> when I told you, yeah, it was it was Mecca. Mecca had some. That's why I said, on. was it that? Cause was it the night Fam. with jerk chicken and shit like that? When oh, I tell you, good. Mecca pulled me to the side. He was like, yo, good. That was CBD. How much did you have? And I was like, oh, I had a, like a little square, a nice little square. My dog said, yeah, just go ahead and go home. Because <laughs> that shit might Because he you. know, like, I don't smoke in there. So he was like, yeah, just go ahead and go home. And I looked at it, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go home. Because he was like, bruh, I can't, I, I don't know how that's going to hit you. When I tell you, I got home, took a shower, I laid on my bed. It felt like, <laughs> let me tell you what it felt like. This is real talk. Now, this is no lie. We, we here now. These, this book is not heavy, but this is me, mm-hmm. right? Imagine that this was like 300 pounds <laughs> pushed in, and I sat on this. That's what it felt like. It felt like I just could not move anything. I just, <laughs> I wanted to get up. <laughs> I wanted to get up. Stop, I was like, stop. oh, man, let me get up and, you know, wash my face, sprinkle my, my face with a little water. Mm-hmm. My nigga was saying shit, talking went, to his dead dog. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of shit was going on. Fam. Why you leave me? Fam. I was vulnerable at that age. Bro. I needed you. I needed you. I couldn't move, bro. Like, I'm talking about, like, I was stuck. Hey, as soon as you hey. left, that ain't start fucking with me. <laughs> A hey, nigga talking to his dead dog high on CBD is fucking <laughs> nuts. No, stupid. Because I got a couple of dead. Well, I got. Yeah, I got a couple of dead dogs. Talking oh, dang it. <laughs> Just talking to the biggest one. What happened to the you? The head show. Right? How you been up there? As soon as you left. As soon as you left. My shit was in shovels. <laughs> Everybody started tripping on me. I remember when you was here, then nobody come Then nobody <laughs> fuck with me. I was big good on the block. <laughs> You gotta confess the uh, the replacement dogs you got from this nigga. Yeah. They ain't never gonna be like you, man. Yeah. He was a thoroughbred. No stupid. Pure at that. Yeah. Boy, finest. Stupid. Oh man. Damn, oh, Kojo. Now that, that's crazy though. Yeah, Why that's they nuts. gotta be Kojo? Hey, I don't know. It's fresh in the game, man. That's a dope name though. When I, my next dog, though, I'm naming them Stacks. I I had a all right. Go ahead. Well, I, we'll wait to your culturally ratchet question. Go ahead. Okay, we on dogs. Do y'all think this is fact? I'm just asking. Okay, we here. Most females like small dogs. I can't I can't say without uncertainty with full certainty that that's fact. But I can it, say it's a general like consistency. Yeah. Consistency. Yeah, I can't say it's fact. I, I'm about to say I think it's the general. It's a general consensus. Consistency. Consistency. I can't. Majority. Okay. Yeah, majority. I will say. Huh? Well, for what is I'll, okay, I'll say this. This girl said I was sexy from as hell. From what is seen, from what is, seen, from what is portrayed, <laughs> you could come to the conclusion. They might like bigger dog, but they only gonna take care of little dogs. It's it. I will argue. F- <laughs> you do. Yeah, that's why I said. You do. I think majority. It, you could you could safely assume that most women would like smaller dogs than the bigger. Bread dogs. I got called sexes and all kind of things. Well, you can't you can't make generalizations, bro. Yeah, I, in today's I, world, like, I said, I said like, this is my truth. Like not <laughs> 20, 2019. <laughs> this is what I seen in my <laughs> life, bro. <Right. laughs> and then, I said I, we argued for like an hour, bro. I ran oh, into. Y'all going at it. 
Yeah, because she said I was sexist. I ain't like that, bro. It made you feel a certain type it of way. It do, bro. Certain <laughs> words, certain words do yeah, it for yeah, me. Yeah, this time. Yeah, certain words do it for me. Yeah, you got you to nip it in the bud. Yeah. Like, hold on, fam. Don't be saying that outside of here. People yeah. start, you know, making yeah, claims yeah, and stuff. That was, that, was, that was she slick in, but I said, keep it true. You don't like niggas, do you? <laughs> Let's keep it true, bro. Hilarious. Let's keep it true, bro. She, nah, she said we disgusted and everything. Damn. She don't like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know right, shit with me. Right. Shit, shit with me go 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 everywhere, bro. It got deep for real. Yeah, it right. go everywhere, but uh, I asked like five random white people, men. I said, uh, y'all dog lovers. They were like, yeah, small dog or big dog, big every time, mm-hmm. every time. And pause. three white, like, pause. yeah. Well, I mean, we pause, whatever. Yes. Three, three, <laughs> three white ladies. That's what the white. I said, y'all say. dog lovers. They was like, yeah. Uh, you prefer a small dog or big dog? She said, "Well, it depends." But nah, small dogs. I like small dog. But you being funny, somebody it depends. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that shit went everywhere. I mean, I made another generalization years ago. I said most girls should know how to do their hair, just like most niggas should know how to change the tire type shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just fucking sexist. I don't. Huh? But if I mean, but come on, if she would have said most niggas should know how to. Speak. Uh, change the tire, you would be like, you right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Exactly. Nah, that, that was a few. That was a few. Years and I do ago. feel like most women should. should I say know, or know how to. Not even gonna say should, but most women do know how to do their hair. And I ain't say get fancy with it. No, but you know like, how to do something yeah. with your hair. Braids, mm-hmm. a ponytail, you know a quick weave, a sewing, purchase a wig, something. <laughs> I will say this. Not even to generalize. I, I will say it's, it's very important that you know how to do one. Do one of those things though, because it can get costly. What wig or a tire? Just anything, like just oh. try. No, well. <laughs> would you think a nigga sad if he didn't know how to change the tire? What I think he's what sad. I'm just gonna put it out here. If a dude don't know how to change the tire, I'm gonna safely assume that he probably just didn't have male, like a male figure in his life. And I ain't saying you got to be like one a one change the tire like Andretti um, yeah. team, but like you should be able to get the basics done. And if not, you just need to have like the the most stellar triple A possible. But you need to know how to change it. Hey, what's up with YouTube? I mean, bro, honestly, there's no excuse in 2021 to not know how to do something. Like you can, everything is a Google search away. Like I, I definitely a feel YouTube that. Video. Hey, I do want to add too. Are you talking about tires? The best investment I ever made, bro. All everybody, women, everybody, get y'all one of them pump jacks. Hey, shit, hydraulic jack it, a1 yes Do sir yeah. work bro you're gonna be fucking your nails i mean your knuckles up oh, yeah man, like, no i feel you that one the stick yeah. in the, the one the, the one that comes factory with yeah. the car like trust it hold my car up yeah, yeah. that ain't like, that that's a in case of the emergency like somebody borrowed a car and that's all they got that's uh, cool to have in the 80 and get the motherfucker get the hydraulic pump. jack I, hey like, somebody got me that for a gift <laughs> one year and i was like i ain't i didn't appreciate it Back then, I was just like, why you got me a hydraulic jack, fam? Like, <laughs> until I was on the side of the road with a spare, and I put that thing out. Man, Pops Bruh. gave me one with my first car, and I still got that motherfucker. I got my, remember, it's we was in um, Baton Rouge with the flat? Mm-hmm. How long did it take us to change that flat? And it was three of us, because we had that whack. We didn't have a, 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 um, a hydraulic jack. It took us a, a minute. More than it was supposed to. Yeah, I mean it didn't. I mean we got it done, but it took us long because we had that the whack jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely another with that. good investment because I I noticed a lot of people don't have it. Jumper cables. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, hell yeah. yeah. It's just small. They got the little kits at Walmart for like twenty twenty five bucks. You get jump cables and all kinds of shit in there. I feel you. Gotta you gotta think that. about that jack though, because mm-hmm. I definitely got the regular Rocky, regular bro. eighty quick little eighty. You can get mm-hmm. a decent. Yeah. But it, it, that's important, bro, because, I, man, I've been around so many people like, man, bro, can I get a jump? You got, got cables? No. No, nah, nah, like, like, what? Like, now I got to look like, <laughs> now I look like the nigga pulling out jump cables, asking you to pop the hood of your car and put the shit on there. Right, right. Yeah, you got to have you some jumper cables. That, that's that's some essential things that we don't talk about. Mm-hmm. They're like, that's really needed. Like, get you a nice little emergency roadside mm-hmm. kit. Yeah, a little for blanket. The pre- yeah, yeah, yeah. Water, yeah. All, yeah. Like, all of that. Like, the blanket, I ain't even think about the blanket, but if you 
get you know you on the Snow side storm, of the road you know in the winter time you know, some work shoes in the back just that in case too. you do get out there hey yeah. i got a whole little kick caboodle out there in the white you feel me bro <laughs> <laughs> oh no look 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 hey, he got to call triple a <laughs> right you get a flat be out there in look, the white bro matter of fact you get a flat tonight call me i know <laughs> right. no no you can't even i can't even let you go out like my, that my nigga got white. roadside assistance he good you can't also, be out there if, down if no your insurance a lot, well, I'm pretty sure every insurance company does, yeah, but you, got it on that's, you should definitely go ahead and add roadside assistance mm-hmm. on it. It's, it's something that you don't think you need till you fucking need it. 100%. I say like a tarp, bro, not like a blanket. I say a tarp. No, I was saying like no, a blanket. I was blanket. saying a blanket. Just like, I remember a couple of years ago, I wasn't living here then, but remember niggas was stuck on the highway. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I, I almost got stuck, but I had a truck at the time. And I had rolled down. We talking me. about what? What did they call that? Oh, the no apocalypse. No apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. And Fam. I rolled. I was on Count Creek. First of all, I had work nights at the time. Okay. So I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I yeah. just know we had to go to work the next day. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody said they was stuck at the train station. I pop up. I look outside. I said, "Damn, fucking everywhere, snow yeah. everywhere." They happened quick though. Mm-hmm. It happened real. Quick. It was like one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Yep, I remember. It. I remember. Class got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it took me twenty minutes to get out the parking lot, bro. I it was just snow. I didn't know it was like hella ice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then I was like, "Man, I'm not even gonna do it." And I shot to hit me again. I'm like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go get it." Took me an hour to get to camp. College Park train station, bro. Wow. And I'm on Washington Road. Oh, that's, my God. That's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Then, all the way, it took an hour to get back. So, I remember this day very vividly because I was in Midtown, and I left to go home. And I was frustrated because it took me about an hour and a half, almost two hours to get home. Was, I think at the time, I was staying uh, off of, uh Metropolitan, like, across from Ryan and Shoot. You, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, hold on. Going to the train station, it's like a little slope going towards the airport, right? On Kelp Creek. Problematic. Mm-hmm. Two 18 wheelers got stuck, so I had to hop in the middle. I don't know what they could do this shit, too. I had to hop in the middle yeah. of the median and make it happen. Right. <laughs> Everybody was stuck, bro. Damn. Like, Everybody, bro. Talk about niggas laying their head on their horn. Niggas was miserable, bro. Niggas was miserable. We were not prepared. I got home in like probably a little up, uh, up under two hours. So I was frustrated because that, at the time, that was like a a 40, probably a 45 minute ride mm-hmm. with traffic. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, hey, man, it took me two hours. Then I Talk get home. Fam, I'm getting emails because, like, you know, basically everybody had to, they, they told people to leave work. Mm-hmm. You know, that, you, when, when it happened in the city, it was like, yeah, everybody, which was the problem because everybody left at the, at the same, same time. time. Fam, I'm looking at emails coming through. Folks like, yeah, I'm on 75. Stuck. I can't mm-hmm. go nowhere. I'm like, what? This white girl that I knew, bro, she said that it took her a total 27 hours to get home. Because what they had to do. It was it was so bagged up, and, and she going up seventy five. She stayed off a of Barry Partway, bro. Ooh, <laughs> that shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. No, that's Twenty seven hours. And she was like, what she ended up having to do? She pulled over and she just chilled. Cause it went. It was you had to make at one point you had to make a decision because like most people, everybody ain't riding on the full tank of gas. So mm-hmm. it's either like either I shut my car down now and chill, leave my car, or here. try to stick in all this and like ain't, we ain't moving. This is like a legit yeah, parking lot. Shawty said she pulled over to the side, went to sleep in the car. And that's what I was, when you were talking about that blanket, like, that's when you mm-hmm. needed that blanket. Because it was, it was probably like 20 degrees outside. It but was cold. My dog got stuck on the east side. And he, uh, matter of fact, he got to a wreck. Mm. Got to a wreck early, probably like 11, 12-ish. Then, um... He ended up leaving it there or some shit like that. He ended up walking to his auntie house. So he's one of those folks, like, he got to be home type right, shit. Right. Like, he can't be home, away from home too long type shit. He got one of them problems. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that nigga took his <coughs> niece's bike. No fucking way. <laughs> and we're from the east side. And when I mean the east side, I mean out there past Pepperville and he shit. Deep, he deep, oh, east side. He deep <laughs> on the east side. And we're all the way to Pryor Road. That nigga, wow. Was he on the interstate with it? The bike? Yeah. 
I think he did. High on part. the media, no, I mean, I mean, you know, all this shit connected, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All this shit I'm trying connected. to figure out if he took back rows up. He went straight like, up. Like Atlanta, I mean, I we, think like once he got the memorial, the memorial, oh, right, memorial, yeah, yeah, yeah. He do Kirkwood city, and yeah. all that other shit. Memorial, so really? Yeah, you ain't lying. Once you get the memorial, he you can, can ride memorial anywhere. all the way yeah. down. Yeah. That's probably what he did. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking. And probably wild. was just sliding down the yeah, hill. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big hill over yes, more once you is. get down to about like Second and Third mm-hmm. Avenue. I think it took him like 16 hours <laughs> on the bike. Man. I would stay down at your house. I but said, that was the desperation, though. He and those folks, like, <laughs> he, he said, to when he told him, like, yeah, I'm finna just head out. I'm like, you sure? Like, you got food? You got cable? Because <laughs> you're gonna be out here for a while. No, it was frustrating, though, man. Like, Cause I, like I said, I was frustrated at two hours. Cause I was thinking like, bro, it take me, like I said, forty five minutes. So me, I'm thinking, and then you know how it is. The one thing that I definitely learned too, especially in Atlanta, is that you can't avoid traffic. And this is all before like waves was invented mm-hmm. and all that. You just had regular GPS. Cause even if you take a back way, nine times out of ten, it's thirty other people Everybody taking, taking that back the back way. way. The street way yeah. yeah. And you just stuck. Oh yeah. man, I was so pissed off. I should have just went the way I normally go. I yeah. would have got home. Quicker. I got caught. In, well, I didn't get caught in it. I, I caught it just in time. I went. I got out of class. I think I had like a two three hour gap. And I think my next class was canceled. I was like, oh, bet I'm around home. Yeah. Catch a little nap. I got the the email was like. Don't return snowstorm. I was like, oh, say fucking less. <laughs> I went to Kroger at the time. My apartment had a wood burning fireplace. I was like, bam, oh, I'm gonna go to Kroger. <laughs> yeah, shit was phenomenal. I'm gonna give me some pizzas. Yeah. Give me some firewood. I was chilling. So I didn't get caught in that shit, but my mom did. I felt bad. She I felt missed a piece of the story. He he rode the Kensington <laughs> on that bike train station Ooh. and caught the wow. train to East Lake. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then went for East Lake to Memorial. Oh, he, he didn't do too a, bad, he though. He had a journey. Yeah. But the trains and all that was delayed, too, though. Yeah. On the bike in the snowstorm? <laughs> yeah, that nigga wild. <clears throat> that's dedication. I mean, yeah, that's dedication for real. I would stay at Auntie House. Hell bro. yeah, I would have stayed at Auntie House. Especially if you probably didn't like your Auntie. You probably didn't like your Auntie. Huh? You probably didn't like your Auntie. Man, you like his Auntie, bro. He's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I would have stayed at Etsy out. He probably thought he had something on the way to the house. Didn't realize they're gonna take him sixteen hours. <laughs> <laughs> she don't probably got there at the same time. She yeah, she don't turn around and everything. Like, yeah, is that the weirdest place y'all got stuck at? I mean, like you know, in in, in life. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't. Uh, like stuck like that. Like y'all, y'all ain't never been in the like no one of predicaments well. No, I got stuck nowhere. worse than that uh-huh. for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got stuck, but it was on some like life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I got. <laughs> I'll tell the story. I was gonna say you might as well go ahead. I'll tell the story. <laughs> I'll leave names out there, you know, just in case, like indictment hotline or whatever, but. <laughs> I was in the car with this individual. It's always you in the car. You're never the one driving. In the car with this individual. He. Little did I know he had just did a crime. I won't say what that crime was for the sake of the story. But let's just say it was a crime that would probably get him about five to ten. And you can kind of guesstimate what this was. So I'm in the car with him. Go ahead. What would you? And give me them tropical bed skittles. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so I'm in the car with him, and you know how like you hop in the car with somebody and like they energy just not right. Mm-hmm. His energy is on some like you could tell he just been through something that was life altering for him, right? So I'm in the car and the whole time I'm feeling I'm feeling uneasy the entire time we're in the car. This Negro ran out of gas. And like little did I know, he did his his dirt, picked me up, like this was instantaneously. Like this wasn't a. He was his alibi. This is exactly what <laughs> so I had. Like like you, you're speaking because this is exactly how he explained to me. It was like, dog, I needed I needed an alibi. I needed like, dog, I, I gave you a ride to 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 yeah. what, what such as like. And I'm like, nigga, like you trying to make me go to jail, bro? Like what are you talking about? This fool ran out of gas. This was like my um. It was like 2003, so it had to be like sophomore, either freshman. It might have been my freshman year. He said that shit like it was all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like freshman or sophomore year. He was by Alabama, bro. Yeah, like we own. <laughs> we like own Prior Road. 
and we on Prior Road before Villages at Carver. So before university, we like um, kind of like passing the stadium on Prior Road. Mm -hmm. So he ran ran out of gas. Like uh, thankfully we ain't got that far to go. But little did I know, people are legit looking for this dude right now. And so we stuck, and he panicking like, "No, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go." I was like, "Dog, like, what? You out of gas? Yeah, bro, we we just leave the car, let let's just go." And I'm looking at him like, Niggas. "Bro, like, the, it's an Exxon right here, bro. People like, we can go and get the gas." gas. Like, and he also like, "No, bro, like, we gotta go. Like, no, let, let's just let's just go." And I'm like, "What is this nigga talking about? Like, I'm I'm bugging because I don't know any of this stuff until after the fact." Mm -hmm. He just panicking like, no, we got to get out of here now. And I'm like, dog, it is literally, I can see the Exxon. <laughs> you trying to argue it's with this right here. <laughs> bro, we can just walk down here to the Exxon. And like, if you ain't got no bread, bro, it's cool. Like, I can buy the gas can and like, we can get, okay. get to the letter. I'm thinking logical, like, no, bro, let's get the gas can, put the gas in the gas can, yeah, walk yeah. back, Shit pump it up. Breaks. Then we'll go back to the gas station and fill up to go up. No, bro, we got to go now. Like, let's go. So Disney grow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you exactly where we was at. You know, on prior right there, that like when you coming down, like you pass <laughs> um, the old Turner Field and you come around the curve and you get to the light that go into like um, is that it's not, going straight into it's going straight into the stadium. Like, no, no the after line. that, after that. So like, oh. if you coming down prior and you pass like all the little um, the, the the like um, with a fork with a with a fork, with a fork at. So you go past the fork and you cross over the bridge. So you crossing over seventy five eighty five. Yeah, yeah. That go first light that you get to, if you go, you can't do that. But go straight or go to the left. Mm -hmm. Over to the left is like, I forgot the neighborhood. They're like not People's Town, but um, you know what I'm talking about. It kind of if you go down there, you can end up going like toward Hank Aaron Drive mm -hmm, and all that. Mm -hmm. So we stuck right there at the light. We literally could have rolled down the hill and could have made it to the gas station, but he was in panic mode, bro. When I tell you, dude took off and went to the left and went over there, I think that's like a medical building or something. He just took off. Yeah. And I'm looking at him like, <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing, bro? He like, he, like, it wasn't like no, he didn't take off like jet speed. It was like a, it was a, uh, it was a trot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trot. Bro, he got over there and then, you know, I'm, at this point, I'm just like, all right, I got to roll too because mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. We get over there to to the. It's like a medical building. Or I know what like you're that. talking about. We get over there. He was like, "No, bro, man, my fault. I ain't mean to get you involved with all this, man. But I had just did whoop the whoop, and I, you know, I, I thought they were coming after me. Like he was, and, and he was legit just paranoid the whole time because he actually got away scot free, whatever, whatever. But he was still thinking that somebody they coming. Mm -hmm. So. That's the end. We ended up having to go to the gas station because. <laughs> so which I just tried over to the parking lot. And Bro, chill. because he he took because he took off right it over there, and I'm like, you know, I'm going behind him, and I'm like, "Bro, like, what are you doing?" And that's when he basically like let everything out once we got over there, and I'm like, "Dog, like, okay, got you, cool. You stay here. I go get the gas." Basically, <laughs> kind of, sort of like that, but like. But after all this, like, I know time, the way I tell you, but like five minutes that went by, ain't nobody came up nowhere. It was like, mm -hmm. no, let's just go to the gas station. Like, you good. Like, it's okay. They would have been here by now. Like, <laughs> you would have saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they were on you, bro, like, they would have been here by now. And it was like. You would have heard the sirens. Yeah, but I, to this day, I've never seen that guy again. That was like just somebody who, I, you know, I was just cool with in college. But I was like, no, nah, bro, like. You cut him off yeah, after that bro. Yeah, bro. I learned my lesson, bro. Yeah, bro. I learned my life. I had absolutely nothing to do with this. Like, dude, legit did what he did. The fact that that nigga told you <laughs> he was the alibi is fucking me up. Nuts. It was like he didn't say alibi, but he was like, "No, nah, bro, I did this, and I just picked you up." He so then, like, it could be like you know, I was with. He didn't say alibi, but he yeah. have said. I, yeah. I caught I'm it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, are you serious, bro? Like, legit? No, that's not the way that's gonna get you off, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, like because nah. I'm gonna tell you like this, I probably would have sung on that one. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just keeping it funny with y'all, bro. Cause hey, like, I'm a civilian, bro. Like, I'm a civilian at that point. point. Like, now nah, we both go and do what we do. Then if I'm like that's snitching, but like, bro, I would have sung on that. What bro. Pharrell said, I'm snitching, <laughs> bro. I don't even like. I don't even know what's going on right now. You just like tripping. So yeah, that was the worst one. Cause I legit thought like it was over with for me, bro. Like once he told me what happened, like yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the crazy thing, well, we was only stuck for like probably about three to five minutes, like legit three to five minutes. <laughs> this nigga was out here <laughs> shitting bricks. <laughs> no, no, he ain't no, not you. I'm talking about him. He ain't know what to do with himself. 
<laughs> Call me what you want to. What was the coach of the Russian question? I bro? forgot at this point, bro. I don't even remember. I think he just had a story on his head. <laughs> right. I, and you know what? This is the first time I actually told that story. For real. Yeah, I've never told that story yeah, to anybody. Story on his head. <laughs> I've never told anybody that story. I told you like dog. No. I've never seen bro again. Never. Yeah, like bro. to this day, I couldn't tell you what he doing with his life. <laughs> I ain't look for him. On like, I was gonna say, I was gonna say like, you ain't even look Facebook. for him on Facebook. No, nothing. I act like was I was I. Hey, that was one of those situations where dead. like, look, <laughs> dead. All right, check this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real deep. And this coming from this, this for both of y'all. You had a slip up before. We all had a slip up. That praying that you do doing that slip up, that everything go a okay. Yeah. I knew once I got out of that situation that God told me that that dude is not for your life. Mm -hmm. Cut him off. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. You had to abide by your prayer. Hey, I cut him off. I'm like, look, hey, if I get out of this one, <laughs> I ain't going to see him no more. Right. Ever. Give me that one time. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I had to get up. No, that was, he, wasn't, he wasn't for me. He wasn't the friend that I needed at all. That nigga wasn't a friend at all. He wasn't no friend to nobody. That nigga used you as an alibi and told you. I don't know what's worse than he told you. <laughs> I'm, I'm fresh in college, bro. bro. probably got like $50. Facts. No, you know he get, man. He get no more than 200 he, he No. Sure. 200. I'll put it like this. Whatever he got, I ain't even see it, so it couldn't have been a lot. That's the thing. Like, it went. That's why they went on his ass. Right. I was like, <laughs> I was like man. Bro, if you don't reach in your pocket and put the rest of this back in the register, like, Boy. Yeah. Yeah. nigga, I can't lay the money. About yeah, it. All right, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I had to relive that, bro. I, but I'm you sorry. know, that was like in the back. You had the to back. bring. You had to bring that. I brought that back. Like I had. I suppressed that. I was gonna like, say, is it bringing up some feelings? Yeah, it is. Because I was like, <laughs> I need to did me wrong, bro. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, it, it, so y'all, hey, look, we got uh, <laughs> y'all trying to come on the show because I know y'all out here arguing. What y'all doing? Good. We go, Div. Okay, come on in, bro. Come on with come it. Come on in. We got typical Div in the building. To the No Buffer Podcast. Welcome, welcome, Get welcome. You set up. You're gonna be. You're gonna be right over here. There you go. Where's the? Oh. Boy, I ain't know what happened. Yet. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh. Hey, after that story, bro, you know I'm over here shell shocked, bro. Like, <laughs> That's a water, His bro. His brain ain't right oh, here. I appreciate it. I'm official. You know, official tissue, bro. Oh, say less, man. Say less. Typical div in the building. How you doing, sir? I'm checking in, man. Checking, checking in. Checking in. This Product placement like a mug. You fire. know what I'm saying? How yeah. many rappers y'all know got their own coffee? I don't know too many of them. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know one. I don't know, I don't I don't know too many I mean, I don't know two. I know one. Respect. You. Oh, Respect. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. one. It's been a journey to say the least. I'll mm. tell you that. Well, what well, well, we settled it at, man? You said, uh, oh, typicaldiv.com. Come on, man. Uh, typicaldiv.com. You can find that, uh, all that. Select the tab for coffee and tea. Um, also got wraps for sale. Come on, man. We've been doing that for a minute. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got wraps for sale. Uh, I got a tea. Um, what else we got going on, man? Just peruse the website or just throw peruse. typical div into Google. Peruse. <laughs> peruse. I ain't gonna lie, first time that nigga spelled that shit, I was like, Peruse. That <laughs> shit caught me peruse. off guard. Peruse? <laughs> peruse, bro. Come on, man. Typical I appreciate div, though. It is what it Y'all is. know my nigga come with it, bro. He said he got bars. Listen. No, no. Bars. Div, div a whole goat out here. He be trying to like act like he, he ain't humble and shit. He a real go out. Is it something loving? I ain't know if it's something in there. We are working on the fifth album, by the way. Mm. Uh, it's pretty much 85% done. I got some, I'm going to add some slaps to it before we finish it, but we're almost there. Mm. But last name Good produced on that joint. He got about two, three of them. Did I? Yeah. Oh. This will actually be the, uh, <laughs> this actually be the final installment of my Neat series. So oh. it'll be cool to round it off oh. and end on some stuff. It's looking solid. final. It's the last neat. Solid way to end it off. Yeah, we're gonna end it. Five in. of them, bro. Like at some point. Now I can give. Now I can get fun with it. You know, I give y'all the Vino Suave album. Oh. Ooh. The Don Div narrative. Boy, Ooh. I got some stuff. Not the Don Div. I got an album called uh, uh, Interludes. The albums will never make. Mm -hmm. There's some shit out there. Okay. What, what about the? Uh, this, <laughs> I'm gonna take you back though. I'm gonna take you okay. back. Okay. This, this is like in um, in the guest bedroom in the apartment. Damn. Take five. Take it back. Are we ever gonna get the suburban accents? Yeah, session. We could get the suburban accents. It'll it'll, it'll literally sound like the Yellow Album My if God, we did it though. Titles. 
Yeah. Oh, these concepts is ready. I, it's I just, got a whole album on my heart. Yeah, though, that's bro. facts. That's no facts. jokes. That's gonna be worth some money. You're gonna be able to blackmail Surfer me like for that. What? 20, <laughs> 20 what? 2012? 2012? 2012? Probably 2012. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Dude been out here, man. You been, been out, out here doing, show, you know, man. like a little one, two, like a little quick jab. Mm. You know, jab, uh uh-uh, uh, then a little hook, you know what I'm saying? Knocking them out. I feel you. I ain't mad at you, bro. But I am proud of y'all, man. I've been watching the progression. You know, I've been here since it was like an idea, y'all. Everybody, everybody involved, man. And that shit really cool to see y'all. Where y'all at coming into y'all own, having y'all own tone, you know? I realize this podcast space is something new, you know, on the landscape and the climate and shit like that. But yeah. y'all really making your own way. The tone Thank of it, you, the speed it. of it is y'all's, man. I'm just happy to be here and witness it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. That means a lot. No doubt. But yeah, buy that coffee everywhere. I got a uh, tea. You got different blends. Of the coffee, yes. I got a bottom of the bottle blend. That's a dark roast. I got a track suits blend, which works as a really good homemade espresso if you're into that. Uh, I got a light roast. I call it the be specific blend because I specifically work on the elevations. And, you know, I was real tedious when I was finding which one was going to fit in that space. So I got three staples that are going to be there year round. Every now and then I might throw something fancy in there. I'm actually working on a collab project with Miss Cheyenne Exo right here uh, where I took some coffee fruit skins and I mixed it with some peppermint and cinnamon bark and... It uh, it has that. It's a pretty solid, you know. It's a really nice blend. It's yeah. called the Herbal Tea and Whiskey Blend, by the way. Mm. So make sure I go ahead. It's and got a that. strong body to it. You know what I mean? And you can find that definitely on Herbal Tea and Whiskey, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, as well mm-hmm. as TypicalDiv.com, man. So we just, you know, I got baby. We got, we got to get shit. Yeah, man. Look, I just want to say, man, I love this, man. Like for real, like. Hold on, bro. What them body oils coming up? <laughs> Body oils. <laughs> With some oh. hot oils, baby. <laughs> I mean, shit, the way shit moving, I might need to switch over to some CBD oil blend. Oh, I got that too, though. Hey. Shout out to the Rose and Hemp, man. It. We got a collab going on. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did it through December. February, we're going to have officially typical dip CBD infused coffee mm-hmm. in retail spaces pretty much everywhere. So, mm. that's yeah. dope. This nigga be working, man. See, I ain't really no big coffee drinker. Yes, sir. I got a weak <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I recommend you get something low acidity. I think that's the problem. You was probably getting something that was uh, had a high acid content, and I was messing up your stomach. Oh, my or, nigga really be knowing what's going on. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. nigga be knowing. And you want to protect your you you got two options. You could protect your stomach, or you could clear it out. You know what I mean? Uh, I I say you go get that tracksuit blend on the typical div website. Word. Middle of the road, uh, it's a Brazilian bean, you know, nutty, caramel, milk chocolate, just basic stuff that people look for in, in an everyday palate, as opposed to something I got that'll be a little bit sharper or uh, a little more bold, you know what I mean? I ain't never heard a nigga break down coffee like that. I know. This shit was so saying. intriguing. And then we were talking about the blends. He was like, yeah, you knew coffee was a fruit. I was like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> At all. I ain't never heard no shit like that. <laughs> That's the mission, though. That's the <laughs> mission to make yeah. that a thing. No, nah, yeah. that's that's dope. Yeah. It's, that's that's Jeez, really dope. Yeah, bro, you ever you ever being able to break that down like that, bro? Baby, you want to like? I need so some girl, coffee. Yeah, like. No, it, it's real, bro. I need some coffee, bro. Yeah. No, you got eight. The coffee over. wine. Got the coffee yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah. The, the coffee, coffee wine is a thing because it is a fruit. It is a fruit. So I know it was yeah. a really good hit for my secret Santa. So shout out. For real. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. We took um some El Salvadorian coffee fruit skins. The skins of the berry. And uh, we fermented it with some honey and some local apples and uh, some Gwartstramina grapes. Uh? It's just like a grush. I don't like, know what it is. It's, <laughs> it's just a German uh, white wine grape. And gotcha. uh, I use that as the base. In How you say it? Gwartstramina. Gwartstramina. That's yeah, a real that's German shit. That's German, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. German. No, I had to go on Google. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. hear the pronunciation to break it down. Mm-hmm. That was practice. Yeah. I was in a mirror. Oh, watch the mirror. Watch the mirror. Watch the mirror. You said it. You said it. <laughs> Before I try it out, you know, you yeah, got to whisper. Right. Like, you got to whisper. Gorch demeanor. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's right. spelled just like that. Okay. But thank y'all for letting me plug myself, man. man no, that's cool. Man. You know, it's all that's cool, love. You fam. You know. Got two. Come on, bro. So yeah, y'all go, y'all go check out Typical Div. It's all on the site. All the links are in the bio. Grab y'all some coffee. Grab y'all some tea. Plug him in on the playlist. He's definitely on the herbal tea and whiskey. Mm-hmm. Got like two. That. I think he's on like, yeah, yeah, that was got, love. That was you love. You got two on volume ten. You got one on. Uh, Eight six. or five. Yeah, I'm on six. Enough is on back. six. Yeah. See? I, I produced enough. He produced that. Probably Shameless one of the best blood. songs we ever made. Shameless that song, blood. That song is it's a beautiful record, man. Yeah. Shout out to um 
<laughs> Mariba, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's just Mariba now, but Mary and Mariba, yeah, for the inspiration. It's gonna be funny because one day she gonna give us the head nod, and then yeah. I think they are gonna want us to bring. We'll get a we'll get a big ass partnership, and it'll mm -hmm. be like typical deal featuring Mariba. Yeah, yeah. same song. That'll be hard. I'll make that happen for y'all. Yeah, I'll oh, say less, man. Hey, when you at Renzel you house. Yeah, yeah, and, man. You know, Cocaine. No, no, not Red, not Red Zell. She She be at my nigga Olu house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that's a fact. They, I mean, they actually know each other. That's the crazy thing. Like they actually went to school together and things like that. It's just. Bro, he got an all white. Give me goes. the big boy look. Like Anything, goes. <laughs> what you want me say? <laughs> Anything goes. What you want me say? Anything goes. <laughs> Anything, Anything goes, goes when you got on that half gallon. You Come feel on, me? <laughs> Whole ain't no two percent. Ain't no two percent. Ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no skill. Ain't no skill. My nigga said it's whole milk. Ain't no skill. Ain't no skill. Ain't no skill. Ain't no skill. Ain't this whole milk, you know what I'm saying? With all the fat, with oh, all the fat, all ain't no it. fat free. Come on, nah. with it. come on, you guys. No, bro. <laughs> come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bro, I don't want to talk to you now, bro. We 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 cool, ain't? I mean, you got product, cool. Oh man, I don't want to make it weird, man. I was just gonna oh, stop by real quick. Stop it. Hey, man. Stop it. Hey, man. Stop it. You chill. Let me see y'all niggas in a minute, man. What's going on with you? Stop it. Cool. I might have seen you once during this, you know, since. Like, how you been holding up during the pandemic, man? That's been a quite an interesting adjustment, man. I got let go in March. For mm. real? Yeah, they let my ass go hot. Uh, so in the shop. This was when I was at the roastery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so the person I was working next to on a regular basis, his girlfriend got presumptive coronavirus and she had to be quarantined. So immediately he did. So I took that upon myself to take my ass home and quarantine as well. Mm -hmm. Under those circumstances, they said, do you want to come back in? I said, I just probably not a realistic thing I want to do. You know, like my mom has pre-existing conditions. My dad as well, too. And just like, I don't want that shit mm. right uh so eventually i got a separation notice that said COVID 19 straight up that was the answer mm. took like two three months to get some uh unemployment floated that but that's what was the incentive to really get the business going in the midst of that right so a nigga just went put what i had on uh to upgrade my little roaster bought some equipment and just started telling niggas i sell coffee on the gram and it got a little lucrative for a minute though <laughs> she start working it. out. Yeah. <laughs> that shit might change your life. <laughs> yeah, for Safe real. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you on the listen, <laughs> listen. Yeah, yeah. Fuck I'm that job, that. nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. But um, yeah. It's it's two liquid goals out here, bro. Mm. Coffee and liquor. Oh yeah. Yeah. They ain't going nowhere. And, and no I, I never thought about. I will um, say tea, but I'm more more so coffee. I'm a tea drinker. Liquor. Yeah. But for today, well, no, we got tea. We got tea. I'm a tea drinker. It's a wrap. We got tea. Yeah, yeah tea. Man. It's on, really man. caffeine in general because oh, a lot yeah. of a lot of the most popular teas have caffeine in them too. Mm -hmm. That's the most used drug in the world. Caffeine. Is caffeine, mm -hmm. and the most drank substance on the planet is coffee, only second to water. And that's mm -hmm. only because you need water to make yeah. coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? That's so right. and then teas are strong after that you know a lot of places that are known for coffee are known for their teas as well too mm -hmm. elevation and just conditions and Cafe stuff hey you know what and i mean this ain't even no jokes or nothing you know what i mean like every time i talk to you bro i learn something bro that's good i appreciate I feel like that. i got down watching the history channel some shit bro. that's what's up i, I, I appreciate take that in, i take that and apply it bro that's like that's know, love I, I be banking your statements right. bro that's love <laughs> we had these conversations though on tour yeah, I remember yeah. sitting in the car with AJ and you, Coop and Good on the way. It was a long ride, whatever we was doing. That was <laughs> and you were getting prepared for uh, the Lights Please show. We was okay. talking about why don't yeah. you just turn the lights on in the venue and do that. And I was just said it. I just said, man, I just think I'm going to start selling some damn coffee. Yeah, you did. Bro. We talked it about it for. Man. Yeah, it was a long ass ride. It was one of them. I'm talking about the ones with the, the shoes off. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas is sitting there. Yeah. Bro, that, niggas got a little, a little smell to them. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, that is hands down Ooh. one of the most unforgettable tour experiences. That run. That uh, We went to Kansas City. Midwest one. Yeah, the Midwest one was rough. And St. Louis and Indianapolis. Yep. And it was somewhere before that, though, wasn't it? Uh, we did. I don't think you, you didn't go with us to the New Orleans trip, did you? I don't know Did you, you, you didn't come Pensacola, New Orleans, Baton Rouge. I've been Rouge. in Pensacola, I mean, but we did, we did uh, a quick Baton Rouge, Mobile. It was a Mobile. Baton Rouge, Mobile, uh, 
New Orleans run yeah. that you didn't make. Because we went to New Orleans twice yeah, in the same me. year. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't me. Yeah, oh, it was know. hard. But you were definitely, yeah, yeah. 2016, 2017, bro. It was outside. We was bro. outside, bro. We was outside. We was outside, bro. Taking it, bro. Like, for real. It looked good, too. I ain't going to lie. That minivan, like, bro, when I tell you that. That track we did, Cheyenne, we did from. <laughs> we yeah, did no a one. show. We had a show in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And we had a show. We ended up doing like a festival joint in St. Louis, which was like. On accident. On accident. Mm. And we had a show in Indianapolis. Two days. Yeah, two days. So we had to this do was all two that. Days. This was two days. So we went from Kansas City. Kansas City is a long way from here, too. Oh, I know. <laughs> Man, that who was tell That's a good way to put it. I ain't it. seen so many cornfields. That was a long and ride. Windmills. Bro. Catching niggas slipping county. Man, that was a long ride, boy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We went from, we stayed in Platte City where we got told that we can't eat in. Um, Yo, I was I telling Kia that. that the other night. Them niggas told y'all, don't you think it's a little late for y'all boys to be out here? I remember that. I remember they said yeah, that. Yeah, the hell? Direct quote. Yo, yo, exactly. Did, it, 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 ain't nobody <laughs> changed, ain't nobody when, changed when the words. It was Waffle House, bro. Waffle House. Ain't yeah. nobody changed the words of yeah, a yeah, second, exactly bro. Yeah, right. no man. different variation, bro. And it's been that same variation three times, bro. I'll tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, Deal walked walk straight the fuck out, bro. Yeah. Right behind <laughs> this. This ain't the place for me. What are you talking about? He had that look like, no, this ain't for me, bro. Y'all can figure it out right. I'm right. going I said you good bro I went I'm home and made gas, avocado like, beans and rice yeah you did no, my, dog, crazy. my dog was like no nah, bro I got this avocado straight <laughs> <laughs> he is some real LA shit just he was the only one who was on, on the smart tip on that he knew I what spent, to do I was packing a lunch I was <laughs> packing he knew what to do nah, bro. everybody got tight on that second run the first run was low flip no no we dipped bro it was like that wasn't the time to be bold. A nigga asks you some shit like that, you gotta go. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta go. go. I'm like, not they even wearing these hoodies. Shit. Yeah, we got paid yeah. American hoodies uh, on. We and big ass Trump shirts yeah, on. Yeah, see, I had the Trump ones too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And cool, we ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That shit was like was the Twilight like, Zone, oh, Platte City, Kansas. Come on, player. Yeah. And then the thing is, I think it's a checkers down the street. But you don't realize though, like we looked around and we were legit the only black people that we saw. Bro, you know how like I was thinking about that shit, bro. I hardly ever see white people serving Waffle House. Hmm. I mean, well, you from Atlanta? Of the South. Yeah, yeah, I know, it, I know. It. In the Ohio, oh, it's, just it's trailer trash. Oh, okay. Mm. So trailer I, ain't, so that was new for me anyway. Just to see, like, are they going to the hit these eggs the same? Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. They ain't got no pizzazz, bro. Well, you know, I, we ain't got to get. I wasn't used to seeing black people serve me. Period. Until I came to Atlanta. For real? Oh, you yeah, from, yeah, it's, it's Cali, a Cali. real Cali. dense Hispanic population where I'm from. So I knew more Hispanic people mm -hmm. than gotcha. I knew black people, to keep it buck with you. Gotcha. Like certain restaurants, like Popeyes, like I was like, oh, black people really do? I thought it was just on a commercial. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that real, though. Yeah. That's real. When you yeah. live in different places, though, mm -hmm. and see, like, that's the beauty of traveling, though. Oh, to be yeah, able to see for sure. Different for things, sure. different experiences. I was ready to get the fuck out of Platte, though. Yeah, now, Platte, Platte ain't for me, bro. I've never, that's one place I've never been. I'm, mm. I'm going I don't have to go there anymore. Like, there was no reason. I I know for a fact that that lady burned all of them sheets, and she got new ones. Mm. Y'all hit the uh, what's, what uh, what uh, what's it called? The red pop say no. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, deal deal turned around without even acknowledging. He just left. Like, I, was like, no, he, no, bro. This, yeah, like that's nobody cool. here to help us. I'm not here for. I'm not, he wasn't finna ask y'all got any nigga pies. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's time to go. It's time to go, bro. Pies, yeah. some nigga Five pies. niggas in a minivan in Platte City, Kansas. Bro, mm. that, you remember like good say in the Airbnb, that lady was not expecting us to hop out that van. Oh no. She we, was expecting like maybe a family. And we sent yeah. the most kosher niggas. Cause she we came. Could. I'm about to say, but the fact you got on the dinner of paid in America shit with the cake. Oh, he didn't go in. Every, everywhere we, like look the thing see here's the crazy thing right we put up to the airbnb and we already knew we was like look bro div <laughs> or aj and AJ. Yeah. Yeah. that's first. it because me and steve look like this and, and coop was just on some militant like i don't care at all i'm gonna do whatever i want to do i was like look like and look i know you know how people say something and coop did huh 
He yeah. said a real aggressive <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Good, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Let AJ, AJ and, and Div go in there and handle that whole situation, which they did. It worked out fine. But AJ I know put his glasses that, on, walked in there. Yeah, fat. She gave him the tour. I know for a fact that lady burned them sheets. If she didn't burn them, <laughs> she she didn't keep them in the house. I know that for a fact. Mm. That cleaning, she paid the extra two hundred for the cleaning. I know that herself. It's point oh, three percent black people in the population 3%. of Platte City, Kansas. It was three. It was, it was three. It was a full three. Yeah, it was a three. We was them. <laughs> it was them. <laughs> Y'all was it was full us. three. Yeah, it was us. But that trip, that trip was definitely an eye opening experience to just touring. I said we did that Kansas City. We love Platte City. Did the show in Kansas City. Love can no. We went. We had we, to drive back to Platte. We had to drive back because Platte the city. was like 35, 45 minutes. Drive back to Platte. Wake up the next morning and took a trip. St. Louis all the way to St. Louis just to get there and realize it was that, like seven hours from yeah, there. Yeah, just to get there and hop on stage like and hop. Oh, did the radio shit? Did we? Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, with the, yeah. Like, she got a freestyle of me. That, that oh, we out. did the Remember interview that? in the Remember girl's that? crib. Yeah. yeah, there's a freestyle that I did that. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, I was. I, was, I gave him bars. Yeah, he, he gave him some bars. He gave him some bars. You go out of stage and just start rapping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, it was more you know some poetry shit, but yeah, bars, bro. They had the snaps. I ain't surprised. It was more. No, I'm not surprised. It was more Darius love. You be trying to drop him on the show when he look up. It was more Darius love. I'm just trying to get some bars. I don't wrote some hooks out here, I don't know you for how long. It was Darius love. I don't wrote some hooks. How long? A solid five, four, five years now? How long have we been knowing each other? At least since 16. No, before then. Then the only one knew how to survive out here, though. We was out here playing playing ourselves. With the avocado, yeah, he don't want to know how to survive. He was actually cooking shit. We was out here playing ourselves, bro. Spending fifteen, up twenty dollars a plate. Yeah, up here. Oh yeah. Get to crazy. the gas and everybody looking at each other like, who got gas next? <laughs> nigga, nigga, said me, nigga. Who got gas? I got yeah, it. good. That say. ain't a question you I ever want to hear. Pay. Yeah. Hey, I was frustrated, but I was like, look, bro, yeah. I don't know how to put my, I don't know how to fill yeah. up once. Nigga yeah. said you with the whose turn is it for the gas? Be like, hey man, take it out my advance. It was <laughs> rough. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Take out the next what, tour. He said, "What was take guaranteed? Yeah. What was guaranteed?" I remember that. I remember that it was uh, me, you, Jimmy, and uh, Coop, and we got a guarantee. And you said, "All right, so the hotel cost this with yeah. the X amount of gas. What y'all want to do?" I knew what Good was saying off the rip. He was just saying, "Like, hey, I give you this little money." Yeah, but uh, now, the room costs this, the gas costs this, yeah. and we need this. So what y'all want to do? That was the mobile joint. That was, yeah, that we did mobile. Mm-hmm. That was paid America tour. That was like yeah. twenty seventeen, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's safe to say you can keep that money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, had, we, had a, we had a nice little guarantee. We was like, what you found in the hotel, the gas. We were like. Bro, you know what? It's just trick money for real. Yeah, yeah just go ahead and hold that and let's, just get, let's, get, this, let's yeah. get this merch off at, at the show because, like, we don't need to touch this. This right here. Yeah, we were doing some crazy economics, but it worked, though. We made Yo, it work. Wow. We made it work. I mean, yeah, we made it I ain't it never work. seen so many. <laughs> I ain't never seen so many La Quintas and Travel Lodges. Oh, that was oh, it. Oh, man, I need to get back outside, man. This we need was, to go. Yeah, starting with outside. Oh, yeah, I definitely Feel miss some outside. Feel some way. Niggas, like, five deep in the room. <laughs> Playing, playing spades and Listen, chunk in the car. Yeah, yeah. I'll fan out on the floor. Niggas grabbing chairs. Y'all niggas know. trying to make it happen. I still, hey, hey, that's love. <laughs> Shia, huh? We put this skit on the album, but the <laughs> funniest day ever. <laughs> it was um, the deal with that. Yeah, it was all of us and, and, and Jimmy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Oh, we had a bad story. Cool. I always talk about. I don't get tired, you know. So I'm getting paid. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so we get to the hotel, and I forgot what we in like. We was at like a travel lodge or something like that, but I forgot what city we were in. Tallahassee. We were in Tallahassee. Just to, keep going. I'm gonna figure it out. We were in Tallahassee. We did a show in Tallahassee. So we get to this little Econo Lodge, travel lodge, whatever. We they get in. Same. We get in the hotel. <laughs> Slump. Coop plops on the bed. <laughs> he jumps to the bed like boom, gone. I get on the other bed, right? Like technically, it's like paying America tour. So we like, you know, whatever, whatever. So yeah, I, basically they, they get the beds. <laughs> so you can say it. The, you can head, say the it. headline the show gets the bed. Get the beds. So, so I'm on the other bed, right? <laughs> My dog Jimmy stretched out in the chair. Steve and uh, Div, they out there on the floor. My dog Jimmy <laughs> look over and be like, 
He was like, you straight, cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. My boy Jimmy said, boy, I can't wait. We go in my chill so I can get me a damn bitch. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I don't know about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about cause it was one of the things really niggas was about to crash. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it came we out done. of nowhere. We were done, bro. <laughs> but the way he was eye cool, <laughs> pop on that bed, bro. Looking real comfy. Real <laughs> envious, real bro. Cozy, bro. My nigga was like, envious, like bro. Like he wanted to push his ass Look, out. Yeah, like, yeah. wait till you go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, wait till you go to sleep, yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Coop you good. Coop you good. Damn. <laughs> I can't wait till I get my tools so I get me a bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so classic oh, organic, bro, because you know he felt that. Yeah. yeah. He felt that on the spiritual <laughs> level. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nigga just gonna plop down in his bed. That, was, that wasn't even no yeah. joke to him. It wasn't no, no joke. That was real life. Yeah, yeah, no joke to him. Nah, he meant that. We I knew he meant like that. No, uh, nigga. That wasn't even no joke to him. Like, <laughs> he he real meant, life, meant that. He was in a. Ch- bro, I've been on this road too. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. That's what it. Yeah. That's what it be. You been right yeah. next to these niggas on this road. Imagine not the chair. It was a. You know, it's a little stretch. I yeah. Said it was bigger than that. But my dog was in the chair with the covers. It wasn't no stretch. It was a desk chair. No, it was a desk chair. But I'm saying, oh. like, you know, he was stretched out. Yeah. Like he had his legs up or whatever, and he had the covers. Mind you, the cover that he had was basically just like an extra cover. Mm. That was. It ain't even a full out. Yeah, that's how we do it. Like, look. Asking Me? for the extra sheets yeah. and the rollout bed for the people. We were just so wrong. Cause we Can were... I get one of your pillows, bro? Yeah, yeah. That's how we, that's how we, <laughs> nigga, you don't even need them. You don't even need them pillows. You got, can I get one of your pillows, nigga bro? Nigga built the fort. 100%. <laughs> My dog looked over there and said that, bro. I'm talking about it. it and like Steve said, we were all like. Probably, Beat. we were yeah. probably 30 seconds away from being knocked out. Beat. Like, really, what it was going to <laughs> My dog said that the whole room erupted. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> That job was classic, and, and and I was filming though. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. It was I just, don't know why, bro. I don't, I don't know, know why. Why I was you filming? I think that, we were just in that zone, like, bro, we just catching as much content as possible. Yeah. I was filming. That was such a classic moment, bro. Bro, he felt that in the soul, bro. It's yeah. Like it was a, it was a short statement, bro. But it was a it lot was so, said it was in so that, bro. It, it was, was so a lot said, bro. I've been on this road too. I'm on this damn chair. This nigga got this. Nice ass right. And we had a color lounge. We had man, we nice. Yeah, it's not nice. He's <laughs> gonna say we sit on by the blanket. Yeah, he was appreciating the final <laughs> thing. Right. His, his life flashed before his eye, bro. Like trying to appreciate. One day, yeah, you got to appreciate the final gonna, things, bro. One day like we good, gonna be up there. A my good solid said, bed, bro. Nah, said, bro, bro. I can't wait. Well, AJ, we was in the Sheratons. Second round, we was in the Sheratons and when. What was in out like, New Orleans and stuff? We yeah. our hotels was pretty. But see, but see, it I, got yeah. better later. It got better. We needed later. two more runs, and yeah. we was gonna be at the Intercontinentals, yeah. yeah. bro. Look, look, look. <laughs> see, see, I, I, I found, I figured out that the the, the, the lick was hot wired, but in certain cities, mm. you get the better hotels. So we, whenever we went in New Orleans, we always was straight in New Orleans. But we'll stay out in uh, what is Metairie. It? Metairie mm-hmm. by the airport, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was in the Sheridan. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we was nice. in that Sheridan twice too. I think we was yeah, in we stayed there for like that was a we crazy. Were, it was a long. That was a long trip for some reason. That was a crazy run. We could talk about it now. Rented the car. That was because I had sundress and sangria, so I flew back. Mm. Did sundress and sangria. He was doing some rapper shit. Yeah, yeah bro. These he fools. He was doing yeah, some rapper shit. No, no, I, I, was, I was out he here. He was in Hartsville, bro. He was at he, Brown, he bro. Bed, and he, he had the bed. Yeah, he took off at no, Brown. No, no, no. This, this was AJ to us. PJs. So, bro. so we we uh, PJs. You Facts. really fluffing the story, bro. When he PJs. <laughs> he was in the PJs. I was on bro. Southwest, bro. He was at Brown, bro. He was on the Brown Airport, bro. Bro, I was at Southwest. That's where the PJs go. Twenty nine B. All the way in the back. Play. That's where the PJs go, mm-hmm. bro. But that trip, I remember that because we had we got to New Orleans, did the show. The next day, had Sundays of Sangria, flew back. Then I came back. So when I get, they picked me up from the airport. Cheyenne, this is what happened. Everybody looking crazy. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, bro, we got in an accident. I'm like, in the rental? <laughs> That's in my name? <laughs> what? <laughs> but it went no damage though. It was like okay. it just it worked out. It yeah. went up. I'll talk about bro. I had a parking meter. I don't know what happened. When you there? You weren't there? Nah, I wasn't there, bro. I can't remember what happened. It was some. It was like a. I think somebody. Yeah, Steve, owned, you didn't go on the second leg. I yeah, I you didn't go I to. I done, yeah. I don't. I done been pulled over. We've been pulled over a few times. I ain't never been yeah, in an accident. Never, yeah, but it went. It was like it went nothing serious. It was just like 
like a scrape type thing, but nothing crazy. No, we don't been in some accidents, but we just we make it. We, we figure it out. Well, mm -hmm. I got you on camera though. I want to ask why y'all never let me drive. Oh, should have. You let me drive one time, and y'all never let me drive again. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you Did like I this. Did I not get y'all from Kansas City to Platte City in 25 minutes? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this right here. I feel. Like I don't. I don't know why it wasn't even no. Really, we should have because Coop can't drive. At the end of the tour, yeah. at the end of the tour, Jimmy said, shit, bro, I didn't even know you had a license. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I said, bro, I, said, I, just, I just figured you didn't have one. No, Coop can't drive. I think, I think it was just like courtesy, bro, because it was like, we, was, we was doing the tour, so it was like, man, we can't have people like come on, on the, the road and drive, then like yeah. make you drive. It was like, yeah, that I, was courtesy. I hopped behind that wheel one time. I really, bro, there's so many car here, bro. I get to fucking with the playlist and shit. I go to the side a little bit, but good. So I ain't know. I said, "Bro, what for the pop out of cow? <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody out here, bro. I done been peep the scene, I'm bro. Good, my nigga. It ain't no good. cars around Why here. You know, it don't even look like a nigga. It don't even look like a nigga can get on the. You know what I'm saying? On the street we on. Yeah. Bro. Like, Steve, it ain't no exit or uh, entrance route. You should have hit him with the "I'm good, nigga." Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. did. In so many words. I did. Oh, I'm man. like, bro, what's coming? Out here, bro. Like, <laughs> that's funny. Shit happening out here. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that was some good times on that road. Oh, though. I ain't gonna lie, that's some good times. Yeah, that, that was. Time. I don't want to do that. Two shit more, no more runs, and I think we would have been where we went. We wanted to be. I don't want to pull that leg no more, though. Yeah, no, we would have had to no, duplicate no, no. that same thing two more times, and I See, think we, we would have did what we, we had to we do. We figured it out as it went on. Mm -hmm. We figured out like the best, better way to route. I take a mega bus. I think we would have had a draw oh, that last run. If we yeah. did it two more Monday, times, the fourth time we would have got a draw. Yeah. With stories. <laughs> no, not a mega bus. You bro. start the mega bus off. Sprinkling that Mickey, Mickey Fact Show, mm -hmm. stuff like that. All oh, right, oh, yeah, that stuff cool. like that. We yeah, yeah, the man. world though. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. End of this year, next year, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll get back. We'll, get we'll back be quiet. We'll be talking in twenty. Yeah, no, we're gonna be talking again. We were quiet in twenty twenty. Right. 2021, 2022. We talking in 2020. We talking again. <laughs> yeah, those are good memories, man. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, all right. 100%. Yeah, all right. I ain't got no road stories. I just, I just remember meeting Div from on the record at the mm. union when I had it. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. We that's, was about to fly how, to New York the next day. We did. That's how I met. That's, oh, I was, that's, was I there? Mm -hmm. we, we used, used to, to be rappers. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be rappers. Yeah. You came out. Yeah, yeah. there was a few people that came out. Um, I remember that yeah. night at the yeah. union. At that was dope. Mm -hmm. It was a colorful Hold turnout. On, I think, if I, do I, think I met Teacup that night. Probably. I felt like. It was, it was a well, few people was out at there, that show. Because like, was she on the show with Div? Teacup wasn't. Uh, uh I don't know who was on that show. She she gave it. She featured me. I don't even think anybody else performed. It was just you. Yeah. Cheyenne used to do some dope ass oh, curated yeah. things. Like she, it was a crowd there. I was the only person who performed. Yeah. We took. We did an ignorant ass photo shoot outside, we and then sure we did, caught flights the next Five day. was there. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I was rappers. Yeah. 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 That we was, was man, in New York. That was crazy because like too. that. I remember that on the record night. Yeah. The next day we flew. Div, we didn't even fly on the same flight. Div was there early. Mm -hmm. Then <laughs> the Spanish Harlem wallet. <laughs> Cause Div here, we all, we got about ten more minutes, but we got to share this story. Yeah. Right? So all right, boom, check it out. So New York trip. Div gets there first. Mm -hmm. I'm coming in later. Like Div got there like stupid early, like maybe six or seven a.m. something like that. I got in. What time the flight was? I, I Shit, if he, he got had there early six, flight. he had to be a red eye. Div, huh? Div had like About an early four? flight, but I got yeah, in like. I don't even think I went to sleep. I no, actually, I think I came the next day. You were there like a whole day. Almost yeah, no, I was there a complete yeah. day in New York while and before you got yeah. there. Because I got there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I pull, I pull, I pull up. I pull up. I meet Div. I feel like we just in like the middle of Brooklyn or so. I can't remember where we met at. Mm -hmm. Wherever we were, we met. First night we met up. Shout out to um, the homie Wise. We met up with Wise, and we was on some like broken. We just like crashed at your studio. Like we 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 literally in New York, not a place to stay. Like this is real life. We had no idea of where we were staying. We did not buy a hotel. Y'all niggas just went. the best trips though. 
We I'm yeah, talking about like they do. straight they do duffel bags, shit. backpacks. Yeah. 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 This shit yeah. always works. Straight, out. straight. I was talking about I stumbled into a press run. I was yeah. all of that. Digging all stuff. Me and Dill, we do we we do the show in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Killing it. I'm talking about like lovely, lovely Real show. Real life basement show. Real basement type show. Then yeah. the reality hit. Yeah, we ain't got nowhere go. to stay tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like, this really hit me and Div after the show. Like, we'll have nowhere to stay. So I get on like Hotwire or something like that. Find this. $45 hostel. hostel. $45 hostel. Mind you, this hostel is you go up you like. Just get the bed. Yeah, we went. Well, we I had know a room. I know how this shit go. We had a room, but mm-hmm. I'm talking about where it was just so disrespectful. Like we get to the, we get first of all, we get on the block that's like super sketchy. But the dude outside was playing number fab. That's when I knew fab is the man in Brooklyn. Like, yeah, every that. porch, every stoop, somebody was playing. Every I'm talking about every different what mixtape year was record. Huh? What year was this? Mm, 16. Maybe yeah, 2016, 16. something like that. Mm, gotta be 16. So we pull up in this in this hostel. We knock on the door. We come in. Oh, y'all here? Shaw ain't even had the bed made up. Mm-mm. We walk in the room. The room looked like she literally just got out the bed for us to get in the bed. Oh, my God. It was one of them, like, basically, we was like, all right, uh, sleep with the clothes on type vibe. On we top of the bed, the sleep on your duffel. It's mm-hmm. better than being outside in New York. Cold. Yeah, mm-hmm. better than that. And then the next day, I forgot what we, we had something else pop off. The oh, the next, next morning, Y said y'all could come back over here to the studio and then we we did press runs yeah so and we, we ended up sleep, spending the night because we both had like super early well i think div had a super early flight and my flight was like a couple hours later mm-hmm. but we was like the first people in the airport like when nobody at the airport yeah, we that's wild. still had a day to kill though to the opposite day, day yeah. yeah so we just was in brooklyn that's how we went and we went to best vet vine brew we met, we met Cameo. Up. We met D and every. Cause oh, I, I got a, I got a homegirl. I got saying? a homegirl I went to high school with. I forgot about that. Yeah, a homegirl I went to high school with, and um, I hit her up and was like, "Yo, like, man, we up here. We really like. We ain't got them but like another day." She took us to this like. That's why I got on Basil Hayden from there. Mm-hmm. That experience mm-hmm. like she took us to this little sidebar, and was like, "I had my turntable with me, my controller." Mm-hmm. Like you want to just like I didn't even know I was DJing. Div on um, um, put plug the whole situation. So I'm I'm DJing in the middle of Brooklyn. It's a Little did bar. we know this is like the spot that we were at. The owner like of the spot, spot was no. The owner of the spot was like that's his block, and I just leave it at that. Like mm. that's the kind of that's the kind of time we were all in there. Like so we got we in a cigar bar. All the OGs, everybody there, everybody having a good time dancing, DJing. We playing records. I'm talking about. Beautiful situation. Mm. Beautiful. Then next morning we got up, got on the plane. Y'all wild. Y'all wild boys. Yeah, I remember no fault. They had that equipment in the uh in mobile and then everybody was hot like, man, fuck this shit, man. Let's get the fuck for around here. Oh yeah. So we took like a vote, like, shit, what y'all trying to do? We go got there, make something happy, then they can end up performing in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. Yep. I heard and that's that live. Mm-hmm. We get there, the dude who had us drive all the way to Mobile. We get there, he say, oh, we put on our flyer that we was performing at the cathedral. We're yeah. thinking it's a venue. He meant the cathedral, like the courtyard in downtown Mobile, Alabama. He didn't have a venue for us, so he booked us for a show to outside. come all the way to Mobile, Alabama, outside with no show. We get out there, he ain't even running his section outside. He don't know if he going to get to perform. <laughs> he just set up That's a box wild. and a microphone, so you know what type of time Jimmy on. I ain't had a couple of Jamesons and some hurricanes. You know the type of time I'm on. You know, we sitting there and he and he looking at us and we talking to Coop. Coop was like, man, I'm whatever we own, whatever we doing. Good trying to be diplomatic, but I'm like, all right, we're gonna make a decision. We either gonna act a fool, be ignorant out here in Mobile, Alabama, or we're gonna find a way to make it work. Made it work. Some uh, somebody walked over to it, one of the kids who was drumming and said, Hey, can we just rap if y'all play? It was a jazz band out there. And they set up Improv and all the songs. That yeah. shit was hard. We played like a little bit on our phone, 30 seconds of them. They played their own rendition of it. We got out there. That was hard. That was probably one of the best shows we ever did in our lives. I heard, I heard that. Front, every, every time I hear that story, it's always that's one of the best performances ever. In front of, realistically, probably somewhere, anywhere at one given time, anywhere between one and probably 200 people. Because everybody was like moving, moving in and go, out. Yeah. Like it was, it would be the equivalent of like. Like Piedmont Park, Centennial Park. 
kind of like like a aisle five. Yeah, oh. it, it was just like okay. they event that they do monthly. It's like gotcha. a little monthly downtown joint that they okay. do, like first Friday type. She thing. was right, like Wednesday wine now. Mm-hmm. Some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I just meant like the amount of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, like if you packed out aisle five, it was, it was real, that many people. It was a real deal festival. Though. Yeah, it was real deal festival, and we had legit had people just stop. And I never forgot. I told Jimmy, I was like, "Look, bro, trust me. This is gonna be a monumental point in your career." And everybody performed live. Like everybody did like one song, mm-hmm. but like everybody killed it. I hear every every everybody time I hear that it. story, it's always that yeah. was one of the best that was, performances. That was it. That's hard. That was it. I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all cool. Now we've been out here, man. We've been out here. We got to get back though. We got to get <laughs> Facts, back. Man. We got to get back. But I just got the text, gentlemen. Oh, we about to. Oh, oh we we about we to were about to roll back on. Yeah. You got you know how it is. You know what I'm saying? We all know how it is to get that text. <laughs> what? What? Um. Left how did? How, how everything go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you made it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made. It. I did a little drop off real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, blame me, bro. Blame me. Always, blame always. Me. Yeah, it's cool. Tell You're good for it. Tell, you got, tell the tune in. You got you, good you credit. Was here. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Tell, tell the tune in. He was here. Like, man, I, I kept him here, man. I kept him here. I told him to come on in. He was trying to roll. I, I was like, no, nah, bro, come on on the stage, real quick. What happened? To, what what black? Oh, okay, cool, cool. So look, <laughs> bro, where? What color me bad at? Ooh. Hey, side note. You know, every time, sorry, Uh-oh. every time we was at fucking music room, you played that shit for whatever reason. Oh, music room, that was just my I had shit. To play that. I wanna set you up. Tick tock, you don't stop. To the tick tock, you don't stop. Yeah, man, you played that shit at music room. I was on one. I was buying shots for everybody. Huh? What do you say? You all keep it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no singer. Rapper, though. He a rapper. Oh, he, he a rapper apparently. <laughs> like poet, poet, I'm poet, sorry. poetic, Ooh. poetic. You know, poetic genius. Now nah, that is a good question. I don't, I, you know, like I had to Google that. Like for real, bro. Where like, they cause they got a, they got they a hit. Are, hit. Where are they now? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Cause they like got a hit, hit. Like for real, for real. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> my word of the week is <clears throat> peruse. <laughs> yeah, I knew. <laughs> I'm cute. Meaning to examine or consider with attention and detail. Shout out to Homer on uh, Typical Deal. How you spell peruse? P E R U S. Yeah, U S E. Like, you know, you take Shorty out there, she looking at, hey, y'all take your time, peruse the menu. I'm about to go over here and order a You get to peruse the menu, she gonna be like, oh my God. See, y'all don't know what he just did right there. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a sales tactic. I cut it. Sales tactic. Selling both both sides of the mm-hmm. yeah. let me chill out. Yeah, let me chill yeah, out. Like That's like sergeant. what was the um <laughs> what was the, what's the word, huh? <laughs> the word for deli? Huh? What was the word for deli? Delicatessen. Delicatessen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah. important. You'll get a delicatessen. Mm-hmm. That's important. You gotta say real nice and smooth. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go too fast. You gotta yeah, let them know yeah. that you, you used the yeah, word before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Um, you kinda gotta them. you really gotta look up after you say it. Yeah. yeah. No, we're gonna go to yeah, uh, no, Metallica's no, no, no. Yeah, I said that. I said like, that. Where? <laughs> My book like of the that. week, man, is <laughs> just uh, like that. Just like that. It's actually a textbook. I kinda stumbled it's from I, I had it from college, but I stumbled on it. It's called On Cooking. And it basically is like a textbook about food, all the different foods, and break it down, all the safety procedures. Like, you know, really the technicalities of you this said food. You said one cooking? On cooking. On cooking. By Sarah Lebensky. Mm. So, yeah. Dale, plug yourself in one more time before we get out of here. Oh, oh. that's, oh, so, <clears throat> this is my shout of the week. Go ahead. Oh, she would go, she would go doing div. Okay, go mm-hmm. ahead. Do go your ahead, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Typical div. It is what it is. Checking in. Represent that pure start out to date campaign, man. Um, I sell coffee and wraps. I got tea, everything you really need. Um, get at me. Typical div on all platforms. Basically, just throw it in Google or put a dot com at the end of it. Thank y'all. Yeah. That's my motherfucking shout of the week. I heard him. <laughs> he came in there with the boss word, too. I'm prepared and all. Shout out to Typical Deb. You my shout out of the week. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for fucking with me with my herbal tea and whiskey blend. Um, as the man said, typicaldeb.com. Check out the links in the bio. The link is also in my bio for the tea. 
Um, we got tea pods and loose, loose leaf tea as well. So make sure y'all check that out. Um, without further ado, thank y'all for tuning in to another grand episode of the No Buffer Podcast, the Culture Ratchet Podcast. We say what we want when we want. No Buffer, just facts. Last name good. Lingo Steve, producer Black, and myself, Cheyenne XO, in the building every Monday. Live Hip Hop Daily TV, 7 p.m. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Happy fucking New Year. Y'all made it. Um, and and rest in peace to those that didn't. Um, much love and respect to y'all. We love y'all. Shit, go get y'all some merch. It's hoodie season. It's been hoodie season. Get y'all some culture ratchet merch, man. We love y'all. We'll see y'all last next week. We out.